decided to do FAB Academy because I, I wanted to change my professional life. Um, it was awesome because uh, I met a lot of people, people from 18 uh, different countries, so different cultures, different language, different point of view. And this is my, for me, this is the, the best thing of FAB Academy. studying like traditional master, master studies so it was like there was a professor and there was a book or like something the material that you have to learn everybody were learning the same and the problems were the same and here what I was kind of like shocked that um, there are like there are so many problems everybody have different problems because they're using different software I know different machines they have different operating systems and there was like no one way of doing that so I was a bit shocked and lost and I didn't know what to do in some point but then I realized that this academy is also about like learning how to solve a problem. And this was like so cool because this is how the real life looks like because there is no professor for life. Fire Academy I think gives you just the tools and then you just become whatever you want to be with those tools. And you are not a predefined engineer that is gonna fit into the automotive industry. You are some, a person that has a set of technical skills that can be broader or not, and then you use it however you want to apply them for whatever you need, but it's not predefined by someone else. And that thing, that's kind of the success of the strategy, the Fab Academy. Um, this is a class about a digital, about digital fabrication and a digital revolution in fabrication. The casual meaning of digital fabrication is a computer controlling a tool to make something, the deep meaning is actually coding the construction of materials themselves. Fab Lab Barcelona is the first established Fab Lab in the European Union in uh, 2007. It's probably the largest Fab Lab in the whole region. And uh, since then, we are not only part of the Fab Lab network, but actually we are, uh, you know, we're trying to nurture the growth of the network. If you are thinking to do Fab Academy in one place, uh, Fab Lab Barcelona is one of the right ways because you have like a lot of students but then they will be in spread around the world in different Fab Labs and you will start like creating your community because at the end it's about community uh, since the beginning. So and as much you will be, much you will share. So and more you will learn and more possibilities to find the let's say the line or or the your interest is aligned to someone else. So this culture of learning and sharing and building a community around digital fabrication and uh, embedding um, <clears throat> the values of free software and open source as well. So I think it's more, I hope to carry with me this cultural aspect and to keep doing something around education. I love the, actually something that I had to learn again is like get comfortable with making mistakes again. And you build stuff, or can I say shit? Yeah, shit yeah. doesn't work. <laughs> I told you that I like the startups and creating new things, so I started prototyping um, a connected device in my garage. I just want to have some prototyping tools and just discover there, there are places where people meet to share things, they have technologies and equipments and facilities and that was like an electroshock to me because the Fab Lab, our network, it's a global, global movement. We can change things locally but the more we are, the more we can impact the society. People with artistic background in a Fab Lab that happen to be collaborating with people that have more technical skills and they happen to do things together. But I think that those relationships happen somehow out of the blue or just because. Because the Fab Lab acts more as a magnet to both fields rather than making them collaborate. This uh, organic way to learn, it's very, very powerful and I think so it's kind of unique in 
from the rest of the standard courses that are around. Uh, so something that I would like more people doing is to see Fab Labs as open spaces where you can go and try new things. And um, so if there's anyone watching this video, uh, I want to just encourage go to your closest Fab Labs and uh, try to participate in some of the activities. If you want to change the world, and if you want to change your professional uh, life, come to Fab Academy. This is the right place. <laughs> but it's big, it's like touchable, it's participatory, um, so it's like, Spreading the wings, let's say.